gonna talk about that Eric Bledsoe and Michael Carter Williams tomorrow. I know y'all guys gonna look forward to that, but today we're gonna talk about two point guards today. We already seen Brandon Knight, but we're gonna talk about the rookie of the year, the 25 and 5, the do it all point guard, the defensive point guard, the rebounding, the passing, the scoring. You can't stop this guy off the dribble. He just got so much good ball handling. He just he just know how to use that body. He just puts it on you, sags on you, just lays it up over you, forces it over. He knows how to finish with both hands. He knows how to do acrobatic finishes. I just love Tyree Evans' game. He kind of fell off in the last couple years. He, he took a back seat. To, he had to adjust to DeMarcus Cousins and John Salmons and shit. He had to go. He had to play with a lot of people. And he just couldn't get play the same game he played his rookie year. And that's why I think Sacramento should have kept him because Tyreek Evans and DeMarcus Cousins and Rudy Gay is better than Darren Collison. Tyreek Evans is better than Darren Collison to me. And he does more and he plays better defense and he's tougher. He's bigger. He a mismatch. He can post up. He can score in the paint. Something that Darren Collison can't do because he's a 6'6 point guard. And then you still got Ben McLemore, who, who's, who can be a good defender in the future. You got Rudy Gay, Ben McLemore, and Tyree Evans in your in your, in your backcourt. Then you got DeMarcus Cousins. All that needs is a shot blocker. Put DeMarcus Cousins at the four and get like a DeAndre Drummond or DeAndre Jordan or a Tyson Chandler type of center that just rebound and block shots. And you got a young up-and-coming contending team in the West, but they get rid of They let Tyree Evans walk for nothing. He becomes a free agent. He goes to the Pelicans. He become a six-man last year. And I'm looking like Tyree Evans did decent last year, 14 points off the bench. Uh, he started only 22 games. He played 72 of them. And he still shot 40, got 14 points, five rebounds, and five assists off the bench last year. This year he's starting small forward. Even though he injured, he's putting up a, a high 17 points a game, something that he did in Sacramento. He put up 17, 16, and 20 in Sacramento in a 15-point game. But it's also his defense. He averaging one steal, but he plays good on ball defense. He put that body on you. He brings that hustle, that energy, and he knows how to stay in front of you. Tyree Evans is an underrated defender. I don't think a lot of people that watch basketball know how good Tyree Evans' defense is, especially back in his rookie year. You didn't know people didn't underrate his defense. His defense was top. It was very, very good. It was better than average when he was a rookie, and, and he just had that quickness, that speed, and that body, and that strength. And you couldn't really do nothing. You can't stop him because he's just so unguardable. But that his dribbling and his handling is putting his body and he knows how to roll off you. He knows how to create contact and still finish. He's acrobatic. Tyree Evans, I haven't seen the player like Tyree Evans in a long time. He has a unique type of game. He fills up the stat sheet. He plays defense. He rebounds. He passes. He, he steals. And Tyree Evans is an underrated player right now. I'm surprised that they let him start because he was doing so good off the bench. But it's actually been an upgrade because Afro Mukamino is a shell of himself. He can't shoot. He can't do shit but dunk. But Tyree Evans is working on his three ball. He's shooting 32% from the field, from the three-point line. That's not that bad. He's shooting 43%. Even though he's been missing a lot of layups this year, his field goal percentage has gone up. He has been converting a lot more, but he wasn't blowing a whole lot of layups early in this, this year. Him and Eric Gordon, just, especially Eric Gordon in the beginning, he was just a shell of himself. Like, that's why they, been, they were losing a lot, too, because Eric Gordon just was missing every three, every pull-up jump shot, and Tyree Evans was missing so many layups. Anthony Davis was just carrying his team. Now they the eighth seed in the, in the West. They're going to get Eric Gordon back. Hopefully he can rehab and work on his game while he's injured to get consistent. Tyree Evans on an injury, I believe. He's going to come back and keep doing the same stuff. Then you got Drew Holiday putting up 16-7. Anthony Davis putting up over 20 a game. Omar Ashi playing rim protection and rebounding. You got a good up-and-coming team that you got a lot of money invested in. You want to see them get some playoff experience so they can grow together. And Tyree Evans has been killing it. He's been doing his thing. He's been aggressive. He's been attacking. He's been dumping off. He's been kicking it out. He's been playing an all-around game offensively, scoring, shooting, pull-up jumper, fadeaway jumper, shooting threes, kicking it out, dumping it off. He's been doing everything offensively. Playing decent defense, not great the defense he played his rookie year, but good defense. He is undersized as a small forward. They 6'8", 6'9", they can shoot over him and stuff like that, but he's keeping the body on him. He got that strength, and he ain't that small size-wise, weight-wise, so he's 220, so a lot of small forwards around that size. But they still got the two, three inches taller than him. They can shoot right over him like KD or torture Tyree Evans. 
But Tyree Evans still plays decent defense, but nobody can stop KD anyway. I like what I'm saying about Tyree Evans. The, they just have to make the playoff. The Pelicans need that loss. They need that bitterness. They need that heartbreak to get them to become grow together and compete for championships they need to get in the playoffs this year even if it's the eighth seed even okc gotta make it don't make it i want to see the playoff the pelicans in the playoffs so they can get that heartbreak that bitterness and want to try to get better and strive to be a good playoff team to go from an ac like okc was an ac then they moved up to the number one seed to the number two seed Pelicans have the talent, they have the shooters, they have the finishers, they have the dribblers, they have the ball handlers, they have the inside scoring with Tyree Evans and Drew Holiday, they have the outside shooting with Eric Gordon and uh, Ryan Anderson, just to name a few, they got a superstar Anthony Davis, a top a rebounder and rim protector, and Anthony Davis and Arma Oshik, the pieces are there, the coaches just need to install a better offense and a Tom Thibodeau type of defense, not copy everything he did, but had a four space and, and make them take a little more mid-range jump shots, it's going to be harder to beat this team. Like I said, when you got Oshik and Anthony Davis in the paint, that's hard to score on, especially since they both good defenders and they good rim protectors. Then you got Tyree Evans and Drew Holiday on the, on the outside, on the perimeter. That's pretty good out. That's pretty good defense. They both get out in passing lanes. They both steal. They both put a body on. They both long and athletic. But Eric Gordon is right now, he's the piece that needs to step up and become a consistent scorer and a consistent shooter for this team to spread the floor and have confidence that if they open, Eric Gordon going to knock it down. And he has to be able to do what he did in, in Clippers where he can dribble, he can dribble, create his own shot, shoot some jump shots, shoot some threes, and get back to the old Eric Gordon we fell in love with. He was supposed to be a top five shooting guard, but he just be injury prone. He's been a shell of himself. He's lacking confidence. He don't have that swagger. He don't have that passion. And if Eric Gordon can come back to being that Clipper, Eric Gordon, this team can go to the eighth to the seventh seed. It's going to be hard for them to get seven because they five games away from it. But this team, all they need to do is go on a five-game winning streak. OKC got a tough schedule. Kevin Durant went down. OKC got going against Memphis, Golden State, Houston. If they lose two out of two or three of those, the Pelicans win three in a row. They have a little cushion on OKC. And Anthony Davis is going to keep tearing it up. This team could be an AFC people. And this team does need some playoff experience. They need to get hurt a little bit, get a little a little bitterness and a little agony to make them become stride to be a better team and want to be a great team and be a championship team. They need that heartbreak. And when they get it, they'll be able to have that, that work ethic that they want to be the next great team in the West. And once they get that, Anthony Davis is going to lead them to a finals appearance, hopefully, and hopefully a championship. But right now they got the pieces. They just don't have a coach. And I like what I'm saying about Tyree Evans. I'm sorry I did all this Pelican shit, but it all relates to Tyree Evans playing good basketball. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, check out my older videos. Subscribe. If you're new and you like my videos, you like my older videos, you like this video, subscribe. Check. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. Queen Way, Queen Day 20 signing out.